YouTube is Brian Proctor back again and the other day I put out a quick video on drawing the male figure and um, I had a, a, a viewer said that I should do one on female uh, figure because he enjoyed the male figure and I knew that I had put one out and I wanted to send him the link but I went back and I looked at it and it's kind of um, blurry light my lighting was bad for that old video so I said I would do another quick one just for people who are current uh, and watching my channel to see it. And um, nothing has really changed. And I want people to know that I, when I draw, I draw from shapes because the, the beginning artists draw from shapes or you should draw from shapes. Anything you look at, you should take the shape away from it and it makes it a little easier and you can always add to it um, as you go along. So I lost my train of thought for a second, but it'll come back to me in a minute. So the first thing I do in drawing the female body is I do a triangle. And well, let's just say you want to find out how long the torso is gonna be from your shoulders to your head. So let's flip this over and do this again. Because as I said, I lost that train of thought for a second. And let's say the torso is gonna be about that, that long. So from shoulder to crotch, about that so that determines how wide your shoulder is going to be on your triangle and it's going to be an upside down triangle from here to here from that to point so this is your bottom of your crotch so I would say about halfway down you want to do another triangle and that's going to be your waist and your hips and that's going to be the torso on torso and hips. So from there, you want to take that line up. That's going to represent your neck. From there, we're going to do the heart. And the heart is just the heart. The breast, the breast is just a heart upside down. And that's one of the simple ways that I, I try to show people. Because as I said, all my, all my drawings are geared, all my teachings are geared for those who are just starting out because when I started out, I didn't have anybody to teach me. I didn't have any fancy schools to go to. So I had to basically learn for myself. Now from here, you want to do your shoulders. So what that little space that's left, you draw a couple circles in, in it because your, your the breast comes up and around into your shoulders. So that arm is gonna, that's gonna turn into your shoulders. And I think that's kind of why women have more kind of a square shoulders than men because of that piece here and then usually with women i tend to draw the arms down and out more whereas men would be like that arms would come out like that just, uh, shoulders waist you know because it's just that that uh, pose for women it would come down more and then a little out we'll get into that in a second so from here we want to put a v right here center that and that's going to be the size of your neck that's going to determine your neck or her neck and then another triangle here you don't want the neck too long you don't want it too short or you don't want it too wide you want to determine how big her neck is going to be you don't want a bulky woman so with that uh, v you want to go up and determine about the size of her head and usually i'll just keep roughing uh oval until i get the size that i want and when you draw, keep it light and don't do with an ink pen. I had one uh, viewer that drew something with an ink pen and he, at the end he realized I had to, you had to erase and he was a little upset about that. I didn't trick you, you just jumped the gun. Okay, now from here, you want to bring this down a little bit and in. This is gonna represent your, your, your waist because your rib cage is gonna curve in right below the breast. So it's going to be this shape for your rib cage and that's in here let me use blue hopefully you can you'll be able to see this in the in the video so that's already in there you can start out and a lot of artists will say start out with your rib cage first or the oval and I do the oval for the man but for the woman it's easier to do the triangle so that's going to be there so that line's going to come down in here now continue down we're gonna do the legs. Let's just say 
we're going to just rough how long the legs are here you want to do a u you want to have some space in there because the legs come off of that which you'll see so we want to come around and we want to curve this around both sides we don't want just a, that little point in here we want to curve it around now from here you want to go up which is another v and that's going to determine your hips because it's going to be like that like a diamond almost or uh, the baseball diamond and then from your triangle part that's coming down you're going to continue around <clears throat> and curve around into the legs so let's go down and let's find out where the knee let's just say the knees are going to be somewhere right in here and you want to keep that straight and what you can do is have two separate lines so you want to curve around to the knee give a little room for the knee and then curve back out for your calf now that might be too too close same thing with the other one I'm going to curve around come out for the knee and then your calf and then down and this is very simple to follow and your your legs your thighs it actually curves out from around there let me find a pin so this is why you have the curve because it's like that your legs actually curve out like that you have that little space that little gap as they call it there and coming up from here you have that that little bump right there where that curves out and then out there so it's going to be like that and this pin is not writing well and then your feet you stop where your ankle is going to be and then you just do your half triangle so each foot is half a triangle so if you did a triangle a whole triangle you would just chop it up in two points like that and then you'd have a foot and this pin is not working and then your legs like so and you know you have your, your toes like that but that's just an easy way to do the feet uh, by using triangles and as I said your arm will come out or her arm will come out more than turn in like the man's and then her hand and I'm rushing here because I'm trying to make this a short video like that and then the shoulder wise your shirt or woman's shoulder is more straight across than a man's so i wouldn't bring too much i would just curve it down like this and that is a quick way to do the front and i'll do a, a side i'm trying to grab another pen to see if maybe this one will write better and once you get your rough then you go in and you you add your shapes a little better to do the woman and depending on the size of the breast you can have the breast come way out or you can have it small but I don't like to bring it too much past that triangle and then you have that arm here that extra space here that you'll see from that arm and as I said you have your rib cage and the stomach muscles and if your thighs are too big you can always bring it in depends on what type of a, a woman whether she's athletic uh, you know large however you, you determine that once you get your rough but this is just to be able to do a quick rough drawing of a woman's um, shape or body and then you do what you want to do with it and a, a, one thing I always say is that the best thing is if you're gonna dress the person if this person is gonna have clothes then it really doesn't matter to a degree to have the perfect shape because if I'm going to put a shirt on her or a dress on her I don't need all of that but I do need the basic form so that I can put that dress on that, that female character and that's just basically <clears throat> I hope I'm not out of camera range the the triangle shape so if I'm designing clothes 
then the clothes are going to cover that. If I'm doing a dress or something, it flows. I'll have the basic shape of the, the, the female. And then the clothes will cover the rest. And of course, make the shoulders a little better. And then her hair, however, her hair is. So that's the one advantage of doing it this way. Now, if you're drawing the superhero uh, heroine, then you will need more of uh, the shape because you put a costume on her, you know, however, what kind of a costume you want to put on her. And it's going to be skin tight more than likely, um, you know, maybe the, the, the panties or panties, uh, the, the, the bottom part of the suit you know, the boots, whatever. But if you're doing, you know, regular fashion or the, the hero is out of the clothes or out of the, the uniform and into the clothes, then you don't have to worry so much about it. Now, something I discovered about doing a, a profile on the female figure is that you do, then it's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be a little bit leaning forward. And then uh, and this is the same size. This is the, from the crotch to the shoulders. You want to do a line. And I don't know what you would call this. It looked more like a bow tie almost. This one might be leaning a little bit too much, but just bear with me. You just follow the steps. And you end up with that. I guess if you turn it sideways, you could do like a mask or something. I'm trying to think what that shape would be like in the real world. But if you do that, lean it that way. Now you, you're going to do the female body. You, it takes a few more steps than this to get it where it's right, but this is a good way to get started. And this is going to represent the, the chest. Now from here, like halfway down, you want to just draw a straight line down and curve it around. This is a little bit too tilted over. Now this is going to represent the butt of the woman. You're just going to curve that around and it's going to come down into your legs and we're just going to draw the top half of the thigh. Now from here we're going to come back out a little just a little bit and we're going to draw the back. So that's just a curved line and as I said it is a little tilted too forward but we're not going to get into that and then this line and this is going to represent your neck and your the woman's head. Because people, when people stand, I just have to throw that in there. Nobody stands straight up or, or lean back like that. We always lean forward. It's, it's a balanced thing. If you don't believe me, look in the mirror. You'll see that you are leaning, you're leaning forward a little bit. So from here, we'll do the knee and then the legs. Wow, she is leaning a lot like that. And then from where the neck touches, you want to draw your line and that's where your collarbone is going to be at here. And then you draw your, um, what is that? Your shoulder and your arm to come down. And that's going to come back a little bit. The arm is going to come back. It's not going to come straight down. If you're just lean, uh, standing naturally like so, the arm will come back a little bit. And then you can draw the other arm the hand and let's just say the foot like so the foot the, the leg like so this is the foot I keep moving my paper because I don't want it to go out of camera range like so and it just takes a little bit of doing more of the curves and I would say she's a little bit tall but this is this is just a practice for you guys to see and understand how to do that. And let me do that again for you guys. Let me ink it first, and then I'll go over it one more time. This is why my videos go so long because I I, I like to go over stuff because I want you guys to get this, these things. And see now just kind of adding detail to it and you know the, the the female butt doesn't have to be round as round you can make it big you can make it slim or flat depending on the type of female you're drawing and then the legs the, the hips it actually goes like this this is how it connects and then when your stomach comes down or the female stomach comes down into that point right there and as i say once where the neck connects that collarbone goes, and then it's going to be the top of the shoulder right here. And the back actually curves down and into that. 
Now let me do this one more time for you guys. So hopefully you got that one. But this one is something I thought about maybe a couple weeks ago and was just too lazy to put it up. Okay, again, and I'll make this line a little more straighter this time. That, you want to do it like a triangle. Coming down, not flat across, coming down at an arrow, kind of almost like a mountain. Going straight through to the bottom line and there again. So this is the only flat part up like that, straight through and like that. And for the life of me, I can't think of what shape that would be, but we'll go with it like that. And as I said, this is your breast. So you want to curve that around halfway, I guess halfway from there. You want to come straight down and, and out, depending on like if she has a stomach, then you can curve it like that. This is going to curve around and in. And remember, the legs come out like this. And the legs have gotten bigger from the body. So let's just let's just move the whole thing out a little bit more. And that's something you have to, to work on. And it's across. Not so much flat, but let's bring it down a little bit and around into that. And that gives you the proportion for the upper half of the body. And then as I said, where your neck is going to come, your shoulders will come up into your neck and your neck is going to be, come, it's going to come up here. Then your chin and your face. And wherever that touches, that, that triangle or that point is going to be your collarbone. So it's going to come straight back and your shoulder going to be here which is your what is this your 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 deltoids if I'm not mistaken and instead of bringing her arm straight down let me erase this line so you don't get that mixed up bring it back a little bit and then down because your breast actually comes up and it connects with this remember I said it if your breast is like this Okay, draw the breast right and then curves like that under the arm. Same thing from the side. And let me ink this because I'm getting crazy. And your collarbone, let me slow down a little bit. It comes into your delts and it breaks it in two like that, especially for a muscular man. But this is just to let you know. So your collarbone is going to come in here in the middle. So your collarbone is going to come down here. And then that starts your your um, delt. Actually, there's like three heads to the delt, but we're not going to get into that. And your arm, like that, back, elbow, arm like that, and then your hand. And remember your 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 back curves in. This will cover it, but before you cover it with the arm, you still want to get the shape right. Your breasts. And then, as I said, this is going to be your, your rib cage. So that's going to come like, like that. So that's going to be your stomach here, or the, the female's stomach here going down. And remember, the hip connects like that. Like so. And then the rest is just drawing the, the knee and the calf. Now, one thing about uh, women, when you draw them straight down, when you draw the legs or the, the lower part of the leg, you don't want to curve out like that. It's more flat. And then this part curves out. And then you have the foot, which is just a triangle from the side as well. Triangle from the front, triangle from the side, but it's just a little longer. And then later, you can add you know, the shape of the foot that you want. So you have your, your um, ankle and then you curve it around or your heel, your, I don't know what that's called, the under part of your foot, you curve down and up for your toe. But basically it's just a triangle. And that's what I want people to see that when you first start drawing, use your shapes and then cut your shapes out like this, we'll get rid of that. So always draw lightly 
you know that's why a lot of times I'll use a blue pencil it might not show up on camera whenever I drew comics I do a blue pencil so it can erase a little better and what doesn't erase won't uh, photocopy and this is like a photocopy blue um, lead photocopy blue lead or non photocopy blue lead so it won't won't copy so you need and remember it, it your shin bone sucks in and then your calf and then it goes into your ankle and then you can do your other leg if you just wanted another leg to come out like so or you can just bring it down like she's walking however you want to do it like that and if you want to draw um, the other breast maybe you don't want so much of a profile just go ahead and bring this down a little bit more and then bring the other breast out there you'd have to shift the neck over and then shift this over as well and then bring that down that's how you would tilt the angle just a little bit if you don't want the profile but for this video we're just doing the profile to make it easier for those who are doing this for the first time so that's it and I know it was something I started to say in the beginning of this video that I lost my train of thought and I don't know if I actually got it back or not but I think I covered everything I wanted to show you which was just the front and the side uh, the back would be basically the same thing as the front minus the breast and the buttocks and let me do a quick just a really 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 quick for that and once you once you learn how to do it you don't have to put the whole triangle you know you have your back muscles your shoulder blades same thing here and and since you have that straight line the buttocks comes this way and then same thing again a little space bring the arms in a little bit not like this unless she's putting her hands on her hips then you might want to do it like that and then a little v here and your same thing you can erase this part with the v on the neck but how does that head go from behind and then your shoulders and if I ink that, it would look somewhat like this. And this is just rushing because, as I said, I want to show you guys. And with the, the shoulders from the back, it actually comes up into the neck. And then you have your spine that goes there. And how did I have this on? Same thing with that. Coming down. Like that. And look at. And then your legs. Same thing with your legs. Come in, goes out. And there is like a two lines here for the back of your knees. And the small at the back for your heels and then your foot comes out like that and then you have your Achilles tendon I'm not sure if that's it but it's the same thing it's like two small lines there and then your hand however your hand is gonna be so basically that's it you still have the same triangle shape I'm not gonna worry about muscles in the, the female because uh, we're not going to do that and then your breasts, I'm sorry, your breasts will be seen from that, depending on, as I said, the size of your breast. But you'll see a little roundness right here. So that's going to do it for this little short video. I'm trying to keep my videos really short with as much information as I can. And uh, if there's anything you guys want to see or if anything that I miss, let me know. Let me know. Email me and let me know. And I will definitely get back to you guys or, or you know, personally. If you want me to with your email or just make another video using 
or telling you the information that I miss that you guys might need. I mean, if it's just one person, 100 people, my thing is to teach and to help. So I will help anybody who asks for it. That is my goal for uh, doing YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this video and I will, I will see you guys later.